Hello, um, the Saturday wrap, Saturday the 5th of February 2021, 10.55 Zulu. I'm probably going to be a little bit more slapdash because I've already worked my way through this. Um, gold from the well-drawn brewery, bottle condition. Here's a tip. Check to see if it says bottle condition before you pour it. I didn't. However, I like it. And currently, from Daya, it's supposed to be traditional in a can, but I think it's more craft. And Bragdy took Lord Glass. It's not bad at all. And I wonder, it doesn't say it, if this is can conditioned. I don't think it is. So, last week, um, I forgot the word or phrase of the week. So, I've had to come up with the word or phrase of the week from last week, this week, and I can't really remember. So, it's going to be snow, which that might be repeated for the week ahead because there is a beast from the east or a semi-beast from the east at the moment um there's forecast of snow overnight tonight saturday into sunday and then according to the bbc maybe thursday and friday but the real thing for me is cold and frost so i've been to halfords the one in caffilly the one in ponty is closing and apparently there's an oldie going there i'm not altogether sure about that but there's tons of oldies. And the one in Bedros, or Stroke Caffili, has just been done out. So they're obviously doing quite well. And I do like them. Although I kind of like littles. Uh, I don't know. It's all far too complicated. So last week's word of the week was snow. The week that's just gone, I'm going to go with mutation. Because at the start of the week, there was the Kent variant and the South Af African variant, which is in Wales, although mostly in North Wales, and it doesn't have to come from those places. You can mutate anywhere, and these are just names for mutations. Um, everyone went into panic mode, and then most of the vaccine people said, well, no, we don't think it's that bad, and we'll probably be able to knock it out anyway, and even if we can't, we'll knock up some new stuff. If in doubt, panic, which I didn't. Anyway, so, mutation. Um, humans do it, vaccines do it, well, vaccine manufacturers do it, um, viruses do it, bacteria do it, it's called evolution. Am I allowed to say evolution? That upsets some people. But things change. That's evolution. Anyway, so this is me. I need another slurp. I can't think of the name of that um, uh, celebrity chef. Oh, I can. Keith Floyd. Uh, the late, great Keith Floyd, who used to have a slurp, although that used to be wine. That's quite nice, actually. So, what happened this week? Well, last Sunday, Chitting, C-H-I-T-T-I-N-G. Um, the preparation of potatoes. You stand them up. I don't use um, egg trays. I just use um, roasting trays from the oven. Stand up all my potatoes with the eyes pointing up, and they will develop long green rooty things and you plant those up and they grow better so um i'm working on the principle of probably the end of march it'll depend on the weather forecast obviously because when you plant um, seed potatoes the last thing that you want is frost you can if they're buried far enough down, you can usually get away with one or two, but anything more than that, and they are, uh, uh, well, you'll be having potatoes from them. Um, I've got, I think it's Premier. Um, they are from uh, McCain. McCain people who do frozen chips. Yeah, real potatoes as well. They are first or extra early earlies, which I'm looking forward to. Who knows if they'll work well, but 
you grow what you like and um as you probably guessed i like chips <laughs> um i'm gonna knock out a garden video tomorrow probably depending on the weather um and there'll be a bit of a video of them chitting away it won't be very exciting because obviously they'll just be sitting there doing nothing indoors in the back lobby nice and cool anyway there was the uh thing with gamestop uh right and i thought i should really get into crypto if for no other reason than just to have a hand in the game not very much not investing very much i'd really like bitcoin but i think it's about twenty five thousand british pounds to the bitcoin and I wanted Dogecoin, which is really cheap, um, but I went with Coinbase, and they don't actually do uh, Dogecoin. Although Doge has gone crazy at the moment, uh, and is on its way up, so um, probably a good reason not to do it. Um, buy low, sell high. Uh, not sell high, buy low, which I could have ended up in doing. Anyway, I went with £10 worth of Litecoin. Um, which have gone up since I've bought them. Uh, I'm just going to sit on them, to be perfectly honest. Um, Coinbase have a various suppliers have some sort of interactive lessons, which they'll give you a few of their coins to go away with. I had a look at Celo. Um, Celo's a stable coin. And that's not for investment. Uh, stable coins are, as their name are, they stay the same. Like, if you were going to give someone a, I don't know, well, there's a case of someone who paid two Bitcoin for a pizza a long, long time ago. Nowadays, that'd be worth £50,000. <laughs> um, you want your stable coin to be stable because you want to use it as a currency. So I think I've got $6 worth of cello, which has gone up slightly, um, but it's not an investment. And also, never invest more than you can afford to lose. Things go up and down. Still might get some Doge coins though, um, but I'm going to wait until it comes back down again, because it's in a bit of a bubble at the moment. So, um, last week, and I did forget to mention it, um, iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, and all that sort of stuff went up to 14.4. There was a zero day, there were actually three zero days, I think one in the kernel and two in Safari, really dangerous. If you haven't updated your phone to 14.4 or your iPad to 14.4, do it now. Anyway, um my apple tv you know the one where i'm waiting for a new one uh, which will come possibly with a free year of apple tv well after the update it came up and said do you want a free year of apple tv i kind of passed straight past it and then an email from apple saying there's a free year of apple tv if you want it i checked the headers to see it wasn't a fake or whatever but i now have a free year of apple tv which as for all mankind season two starts at the end of the month i'm really pleased about not a lot of else i want to see on it um but i'm gonna probably watch greyhound with tom hanks about the atlantic war and the second world war i'll probably do that tomorrow afternoon yeah we are still streaming like the wind and it was the last episode, episode 10 of the fifth series of The Expanse last night. And it was really good. It was, it's been a little bit slowish through this season, but this one brought it all together and it really went. And it was, of course, a cliffhanger. I probably have to wait until Christmas 2021 for series six. Or I could always read the books. But it is good. It is really good. Ah, uh, right. Um, Big Sur. Mm, there was an update to that as well. I don't know if that was... That. Yeah, that was this week. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Lem.2. Mostly small bug fixes like um, Bluetooth. 
on the first update failed. Oh, it failed because it didn't download, and then it worked fine, and everything's tickety boo. Um, but I'm not keen on updates. I'm not keen because they don't work all the time. <laughs> Are you on Twitter? Do you follow politics on Twitter? Do you follow memes? Jackie Weaver. Um, there's a council up in Manchester, uh, a local council, which I think it was the 10th of December. They had a meeting uh, online over Zoom and Jackie Weaver. <laughs> uh, people are already talking about making a film and who will play her. And uh, I like Twitter. I know people get really criticized on it and is piling on and all that sort of stuff but my well actually it wasn't a timeline it was uh just one of my twitter lists with politics and bits and pieces and forest friends in there that just lit up and it was awesome um i really enjoyed it and yesterday well okay there was a bit of rain but it was quite spring like it was very spring-like. Um, all the heating was on in work, and it got up to 27 degrees Celsius, even with the windows open. I am looking forward to spring. Um, uh, Mr. Drakeford said that uh, junior schools will go back. Or is it infant schools? I'm not sure. Um, from the 22nd onwards. There was something in the papers today about when pubs reopen, they won't reopen with beer sales. What's the point of a pub? Pubs are there for beer. They won't reopen. Uh, although um, in Wales they were thinking about, well, we could start opening, well, uh, hotels and caravan parks and such like that for Easter. Don't get too excited. Um, we will see. And apparently everyone under 50 will have a jab uh, by May. Beginning of May or end of May, who knows. Um, but it is happening, he says. Oh, have I got one he knows? Yeah, anyway. Um, so that was this week. Um, it's been a, well, I don't know where the week has gone, to be perfectly honest. It has just sort of um, disappeared. Anyway, wish me luck for the week ahead. I've got plenty of DIC and fluid. Obviously, the roads are going to be slippery. But this year so far and uh, the end of last year, Caffili and Taff, uh, Ron the Cannon Taff, have been gritting like the wind and done a really good job. Hmm, February, your snowy month. Anyway, bye-bye. I have to get back to my beer now, he says, clicking. <laughs>